Hello and welcome to a tutorial entitled The Terror of Black Tom, July 30th, 1960. This particular event of American history is little discussed and the information provided here will give you a little bit of a background information about the U.S.'s involvement in World War I as well as some of the factors that contributed to the U.S. involvement. Black Tom was an explosion that played a very key role in defining domestic policies and the treatment of perceived enemies of the state both before, during, and after World War I. These, this is particularly ish illustrated in the cartoons below. To discuss today, we are going to discuss the Black Tom explosion. We are going to discuss the sabotage investigations that occurred as a result of the explosion. We are going to talk about the Mixed Claims Commission. This is this particular commission is responsible for seeking dam damages for the parties involved. And we're going to talk about what becomes of the property today, whatever became of this particular event, and the land that encompassed it. Discussing the events of the Black Tom Island, it's important for you to know where Black Tom Island is located. It is in Jetty, located off the coast of Jersey City. It is located not far from Bedloe Island, which today we know as Liberty Island, and Ellis Island, a major immigrant depot at this time. It is also very close to the Statue of Liberty, and that's something to keep in mind, as well as the New York waterfront. So what was the Black Tom explosion? Well, this particular event is and was very well known at the time. It was covered by local newspapers as well as national newspapers in small municipalities in Oklahoma as well as in the large cities of San Francisco, Chicago, and New York. Below is an image of the damage occurred as a result of the explosions. It is handy to note that Black Tom was a Lehigh Valley Railroad Depot located in Jersey City. It was a major munitions depot and responsible a location responsible for shipping ammunition overseas to the Allied forces of England and France during World War One. And the explosion occurs on July 30th, 1916, in the very early hours of 2.08 a.m. The explosion finds many citizens in both New Jersey and New York shaken in these early morning hours. So what kind of devastation does this cause to the area? Well, there is damage to Jersey City and Hoboken. The most prominent damage in Jersey City is to the municipal building in which it has a large crack in its foundation, as well as many of the windows of businesses and homes in Jersey City are blown out. In Manhattan, many windows on its waterfront are also blown out, as well as windows of the 42nd Street Library. The Bedloe Island, which is home to the Statue of Liberty, also has marks from the shrapnel fire that occurs as a result of the explosions. These particular marks bear witness to the devastation that she does face. It is one of the major reasons why you are not allowed in the torch, because it's considered unstable as a result of this explosion, as well as one of the major reasons why you were not allowed into the crown until recently. It is also important to note that Ellis Island's glass ceiling was also shattered, resulting in thousands of immigrants being shipped to nearby Castle Gardens Island to 
be in a safe location while the ammunition was exploding. There were four deaths as a result of this explosion, the youngest being an infant who fell out of his crib, a Lehigh Valley Railroad cop, security officer, as well as a Jersey City police captain, and a riverboat captain whose boat happened to be in the port at the time the explosions occurred, and he happened to have ammunition aboard. Investigation is done into the disaster. It is important to note that at this time, the United States does have the Federal Bureau of Investigations, also known as the FBI, but their experience in dealing with this type of disaster is minimal. They generally deal with interstate related issues. Uh, this particular investigation is actually handled by the New York City Bomb Squad, which in and of itself was in its very infancy, and they too were learning at the time about how to trace ammunition. Well, the disaster was originally blamed on the smudge pots that were used by the watchmen at night to ward off mosquitoes, but it was ultimately discovered that cigar bombs, which were about the size of test tubes with incendiary material located inside, very easy to explode and hide, were the major cause of the explosions. The guards at the Lehigh Valley Railroad Depot were discovered to be German agents who were working with the German ambassador, Johann Heinrich von Bernstein. The Lehigh Valley Railroad, being rather upset that their entire yard was destroyed, does attempt to seek damages from Germany. Mixed Claims Commission. The Mixed Claims Commission is when the United is when the United States, the Lehigh Valley Railroad, the municipalities of Jersey City, all attempt to seek damages. Now, in order to to facilitate the findings, they also encompass the Canadian car foundries, Kingsland's explosion, which we will discuss a little bit later on, into this Mixed Claims Commission. It was established uh, under the Treaty of Berlin, which doesn't occur until the end of World War I in 1918. And it ultimately finds Germany responsible in 1939 as the saboteurs and responsible for paying the paying the uh, evening guards at the Lehigh Valley Railroad Terminal. It is also interesting to note that this decision is reached in 1939 at the dawn of World War II. Germany does not finally pay all the damages, which in total is about $25 million, until 1971, by which time the Lehigh Valley Railroad and the Canadian Car Foundry have since been dissolved and the money ultimately go to the companies that bought out these two. It's a Black Tom. Well, Black Tom, it does continue to operate for an additional 40 years as a railroad terminal for the Lehigh Valley Railroad. However, as railroad travel diminishes, so too does the Lehigh Valley Railroad, and ultimately the land gets sold to the state of New Jersey. Today, the only marker to this disaster is a circle of American flags at Liberty State Park in Jersey City, New Jersey. These flags mark the location of the initial explosion in the on, on July, in July of 1916. It also has two placards in memory of the disaster, as well as the police officer who passed away. So I would like you to take the quiz to see what you have learned from this lesson. It will give you an idea of the materials and information covered and provide a nice review. If you have any questions, always please feel free to call and reach out to me. Thank you.